I chose the robot because I was created by the digital age. What does that mean? But I'm not your typical robot. Robots aren't supposed to have emotions. But I really care about the real world and want to make it a happier place. United Nations, Amal Clooney. She's in the UN. Amal Clooney. <laughs> Ever since I was a young robot, I've always been connected to the water. Surfboard, a swimmer. Growing up, I was surrounded by gold. Gold Coast. Yeah, maybe they're from the Gold Coast. Mm. And as a young robot, my favourite animal was the butterfly. A butterfly swimmer. But now I prefer something that goes tweet. I am the robot, and I am programmed to win the Masked Singer. Is there a swimmer from the oh Gold Coast? Who yes, did the butterfly? butterfly swimming. I remember John Sieben did it. Try to keep you close to me, but life got in between. Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes Hold back the river so high I can stop for a minute and see where you hide Hold back the river, hold back Who is hold that? Back. I'm with you, Danny. If you're not a professional singer, you're in the wrong career. It sounds like you're young, but the voice sounds mature, so it's confusing to me. Yes, from a robot, there was nothing stiff about that whatsoever, and it was, <laughs> it was just beautiful. And I was expecting the voice of an Olympic swimmer, but no, voice of an angel, yeah. I've got no idea. Lindsay, what did you think? It was so good, I was like about to cry. <laughs> The voice is incredible, and you can move. Yay! Oh, yeah. now I'm getting like Usher vibes. I'm feeling some Usher right now. Have you ever performed at the MTV Movie Awards or Music Awards? I've been to many award nights from a very early age. Whoa, what sort of award nights? <laughs> Um, you were discovered in a digital age, so I'm wondering if you're someone who was discovered via YouTube. I'm gonna lock in Troy Savant. Oh, that's a yeah. good one. Danny, tell me, who do you think's behind the mask? Uh, I'm just gonna go with the smoky vocals and say Matt Corby. Oh, brilliant oh, singer, Matt Corby. Yes. <laughs> Look at robot's hair. Like, <laughs> Husey, who do you think it is? Conrad Sewell. Oh, no. Conrad Sewell. No. No, don't, no, no, no yes. I know him. No. You he know, sings but, more like Michael Jackson. Well, text him and see where he's right now. He's actually, <laughs> he's, he has a concert tonight. He's got a concert tonight. Well, yeah, he will still get there. He's got yes, a jetpack behind there. He'll fly there. <laughs> <laughs>
What if we're wrong and it's not even a guy? Very confident. That's the stance of a guy. <laughs> oh, hey, honey. Mm. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? It felt really good to be able to go out and sing anonymously. I think I've done a very good job confusing the judges. After my last performance, the only thing the panel is sure of is that this robot can move and sing. Oh, I love that. But are they onto me? Do they suspect who is behind the robot mask? I don't think they're even close. I've got no idea. Like many robots, I left my factory and headed east like a moth to a flame. Maybe they went east to New York or they're from Perth and went to east of Australia. But I soon realised others were controlling my program. I felt like such a clone. Ooh, boy it's band, like a band. A boy band. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Who left a boy band? So I short-circuited the production line and I am now very much my own robot. Bubblegum pop. It popped. A pop band. I always knew I had a lot of creative circuitry inside me. You could say I'm multi-layered, like a Russian doll or a onion. What? And I love playing the game. In fact, I think I'm quite good at it. But having a metal head makes me headstrong and can cause serious glitches. They're a metal head. <laughs> Come from Motley Crue. I am definitely not a robot who stays in my own lane. Stays in his own lane. Swimmer. And with tonight's performance, I intend to mix it up with an Aussie classic. Who's going to be under that mask? Cold wind blows. Oh, when the sun laughing, having fun. I love this. With song. the people that she knows. If the situation to keep us separated, you know the world won't fall apart. You will free, beautiful bird. It's caught inside your heart. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. Riding on the horses, yeah, man Way up in the sky, little darling And if you fall, I'll pick you up, pick you up No You will grow, and until you go She will carry up your ride See them try every way they know how This is gonna be a play, babe To make their spirit fly that's the way it's gonna be, little darling We'll be riding on the horses, yeah, yeah Way up in the sky, little darling And if you fall, I'll pick you up, pick you up That's the way it's gonna be, little darling We'll be riding on the horses, yeah, yeah Way up in the sky, little darling new national anthem that song when that song comes on Lindsay you know the pub's about to shut all right so if you haven't found a partner when that song comes on you need to jump on somebody all right so okay I'm gonna pass on that that was my favorite performance tonight the ass move was directed at Husey I do believe whoa it was and giddy up <laughs> 
Jackie, there were a lot of clues there. Anything particularly that you were interested in? When I look back at last week's clues, and you talk about growing up around gold, which we assumed was the Gold yeah. Coast, and the surfing, I started thinking maybe it was Cody Simpson. And that's where I'm heading with it. You know, I'm not gonna say Cody Simpson because my sister and him were dating, and I've heard him sing, so I know his voice. I feel like it's robotic, boy band. I'm gonna lock in Joey Fatone from NSYNC. That's a good guess, Lindsay. Can I just say, you're driving this Minogue nuts. This is someone who can dance. I'm gonna go with someone who's so comfortable on stage. I'm gonna go with Tim Amatic. Ah, oh, it's so hard, it's too hard. Pat Rafter, I think it's Pat Rafter. Pat Rafter. Look at that. That's a backhand. It's a very, very tough one, but we might be able to get a little closer if we hear from Robot. Yes! Why don't you tell us something about yourself that we don't know? Some years ago, I was honoured by a grand historian. What? It's someone from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> what does that tell you guys? Nothing, nothing. I'm gonna throw everything out of thought and, and think that you're double bluffing us and say it's Daryl Braithwaite. Oh. <laughs> That's a great guess. Daryl Braithwaite, let's go with that. I love it. Australia, who do you think is behind the mask? I need to know now, I can't wait. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? I am the robot. Last week, I took a real chance. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. And performed a song that I would never normally sing. When it seemed to pay off. That was my favourite performance tonight. The panel are loving my moves. The ass move was directed at Husey, I do believe. Whoa! But best of all, they still have no idea who I am. Oh, it's so hard, it's too hard! It can be tough inside this robot mask. Guitar player. It's not easy to communicate with anyone. From Florida or have worked with Flo Rida. Which is very annoying. Spaghetti with meatballs, which makes me think of East Coast American. Because unlike most robots, I'm extremely social. I was very privileged growing up and found myself surrounded by those who shared my passion. Could be part of a boy band. And I don't always take the straight and narrow. Top at Broadway. American showman. That's why I find myself having more resolution than ever. More resolution. Who had an album called High Resolution? Did Bruno Mars work with Flo Rida? He's from Hawaii. Oh, because there was a Hawaii sticker, He's right? A too tall for Bruno Ooh, Mars. Though. Look oh, look at this! So cool. That's a great set. I'm at a party I don't wanna be at. I don't ever wear a suit and tie. Wondering if I can sneak out the back. Nobody's even looking me in my eyes. Take my hand, finish my drink, say, shall we dance? Hell oh, yeah. You know what love you did, I ever tell you. You make it better like that. Don't think I fit in at this party. Everyone's got so much to say. Oh yeah. I always feel like I'm nobody. Mm -hmm. Who wants to fit in anyway? Cause I don't care.
robot can move. That was absolutely incredible. Woo! Could be someone from um, BTS. Yeah. Ooh, what Ooh. is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend you didn't say that. Say, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> but if you, if hey. boy band, really good boy band. What is it? What oh, is it? right, K-pop. I love K-pop, <laughs> and everyone who loves K-pop, please don't attack me on Twitter. Are you? <laughs> I know those moves, and, and I, I actually have a very good idea of who can move like that in a suit like this. I've heard that voice on radio, and if I focused more on the studio, I'd know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get another clue out here, to maybe, to try and help you out. What do you think? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, oh, so yes. Robot did bring something from home. Robot has a personal clue that actually belongs to Robot, which has significant meaning. Security, please bring out the clue. What is it going to be? I bet it's a ski trophy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Three, two, one. Oh, no. More, tro more trophies. There's a trophy. No, they're trophies. Uh, trophies oh. only. There's a lot of them. A lot of swimming trophies here. There's been a lot of water and surfing references with whoever is under this mask. Which brings me back to instead of thinking Florida, it's Florida. Tell us about these clues, robot. My personal clues are swimming medals and trophies. I won them around the same time that I first made a splash. Oh, oh okay. So, so you were young. You were young when you became famous then. Aaron Carter is the brother of Nick Carter. And he loves to swim. And he looks like his brother, a clone of his brother. Oh, Digital yeah. age, young swimmer, Florida the Keys, boy band. And he was dating a Russian just almost two years ago. Aha! Whoa! I'm gonna go with Aaron Carter. And didn't you date him? <laughs> Jackie just, Jackie's just going after everyone that we've dated. Well, I feel like everyone's ex is gonna be on this show at no, some look, point. Look, everyone's, everyone's ex is not gonna be on the show. If my ex is on the show, <laughs> I only had one girlfriend. Uh, Jackie, what do you think this means? He loves the water. He said that in, in the first performance that he did. Very much caring for the environment. You know, oh. I, I feel like maybe it is someone from One Direction, like a Liam Payne or something. He does some work for the UN, but he could be someone else from One Direction too. Jackie, oh, I think he's on the right tip. But I was thinking Niall from One Direction. Ooh. Totally wow. loves Australia, goes surfing he when does. he's here. He does. Has that amazing vocal range, plays guitar, but he's really energetic on stage like that. Sherlock Minogue strikes oh, again. I absolutely love it. If it is, that will be amazing. I, I'm going to, I think it is Bruno Mars. I think it's going to, yes. Never Bruno, had Bruno I'm, Mars? Why not Bruno's Mars, mate? Bruno Mars. <laughs> I'm going with Bruno Mars. This robot definitely has the best voice. Um, but I, I got to be honest, being on this show feels a little bit like someone who, you know that dream where you wake up at school and you haven't done your homework but everyone else has? I feel like that's... <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking he's a toy robot. Buzz Lightyear, he's in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank Robot? <laughs> robot, we'll see you later in the show. <laughs> so, Australia, are you getting any closer? Do you think you know who is behind the mask? <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? I think my clue this week has completely thrown them off, which is what I was intending to do. I think it's getting really interesting with the judges, but I'm going to keep them guessing all the way to the end. I'm in it to win it, baby. That's the only reason I'm here. This robot has turned on. My last performance was Robot's Best by a Cyber Mind, and they loved my little surprise ending. And I'm still dazzling them with my digital dance moves. This robot can move. That was absolutely incredible. Robots were created to make the world more wonderful for humans. He cares about the environment. Leonardo DiCaprio. 
<laughs> Although salt water makes my circuits tingle, I love all the oceans, not just crossing the Atlantic. The ocean is a big thing. Someone from Ocean's Eleven? It could be Brad Pitt. Strangely, for a robot, I'm not really into heavy metal. He doesn't like heavy metal, but he might not be talking about music. But bubblegum pop just grinds in my gears. I want to sing what I want to sing. He's been in a pop band and he wants to branch out. So listen up, world. Here's a robot that doesn't use auto-tune. This looks cool. What's he gonna do? a lot of confidence to do a Kylie Minogue song in front of Danny Minogue and you pulled it off. It was awesome. I la 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 loved it. I just wish you had worn the gold hot pants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're underneath. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is Kylie Minogue. Who knows? <laughs> what a trip would that be if it was actually your sister? Oh. I know. Ta -da! <laughs> uh, were there some clues there that made you think twice? Uh, yeah, I thought more than twice. This is like a cryptic crossword in the Sydney Morning Herald. I normally put them in the bin, to be honest. But uh, I went with the, with the ocean. Yeah, definitely a concern with the environment. Okay. Maybe you love surfing. But he said salt water affects yeah. his circuits. I feel like we're at the United Nations right now. Really and we're tricky. having like a really big conference. Yeah, we're like, taking it so seriously. <laughs> I didn't think as deeply as you. It's one of the oceans. It's Billy or Frank, and I think it was Frank Ocean. That would be the most amazing yeah. thing if it was Frank Ocean. Yeah. Robot, would you please give the judging panel a moment of truth? I will tell you something on the DL. Down on low. the down low. Yeah. I have spent time with MC Hammer. What? That just threw me. Oh, yeah. I can't touch this. That is a very good mover, though. He's a dance jukebox, to say any. <laughs> this guy can move! Okay, wait. Maybe it's Sai. They did a duet. Oh. I think it's Sai. Oh, imagine if it was Sai. <laughs> Daddy, who's behind the mask? He's not into heavy metal. I know somebody who's recently had surgery on his head and he's oh. had metal oh, yes. put in his head and he can dance and sing. So I'm gonna go with Johnny Ruffin. Yeah, good guess, Danny, good. I was also thinking someone like Charlie Puth who has famously said that he does not need auto-tune because he is pitch perfect. Ooh. He's an awesome singer. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. 
who do you think it is? Who is that? Am I wearing gold hot pants under this robot costume? I guess you'll never know. Robots don't gamble, but last performance I definitely took a calculated risk singing a Kylie song. It takes a lot of confidence to do a Kylie Minogue song in front of Danny Minogue, and you pulled it off. It was awesome. But I always think, what the heck? Fortune favours the brave robot. I la 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 loved it. So, it's no mistake that I made it this far. Robots don't make mistakes. Robots perfect. I'm thinking Disney, don't make mistakes, Mickey Mouse Club, Backstreet Boys. And we never tire, never go to bed. From an early age, I've been popping my rivets, chasing a dream. It was head down, following the straight and narrow path laid out by others, all heading the same way. I think he's part of a pop band. Can we say all heading the same way could be One Direction? One Direction's a good guess. You're on fire, Husey. Husey's got the robot! Of course, I never forget that the family that plays together stays together. So famous family? Famous family. Brothers, maybe. Hanson. Someone from Hanson. They're in a Hanson, family. That's a great idea. But now it's time for this robot to do its own thing. So, hold on. Is hold on a song title? I know, I just thought about that. It could be clues in the set. TV. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging up, please don't take my man. That's a deep voice. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Oh, please don't take him just because you can. What is that? I heard you on the phone last night. We live and die by pretty lies. You know where. We both know where. We got all night to fall in love. And just like that, we fall apart. We're broken. Oh, I love it. Oh, we're broken. Oh, well, nothing, nothing, nothing can save us now. This broken silence by the moon crashing in the dark, crashing in the dark. This broken record of spinning less circles in the bar. It gets a country vibe. This broken hurts you, it cuts you deep, then leaves the storm. Things fall apart, but the thing breaks like a heart. The thing breaks like a heart. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the thing breaks like a heart. It's broken. The robots are broken. Robot, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah. Uh, oh, how good was that, Lindsay? I have so many thoughts going through my mind. I mean, you're always so great, Robot, and you're such a cool dancer, and you're so sly, and the song was such a throw-off from what you did when we last yeah. saw you. Yeah, absolutely. When I saw all that stuff, I'd no, I did not think Dolly Parton was going to come out, but... Um, <laughs> Incredible performance, the way you moved and the way you turned that song into your own. And you broke things. Things got broken at the end of that. Mm, not just my brain. <laughs> what were the clues there that really caught your eye? The girls have agreed I am peaking right now. Yes, this is my is. best. I'm closest yes. that I've ever been. And one that really got me going was where he said he was with people who were all heading the same way. For me, they were heading in one direction. Yeah, that's right. I'm feeling up, one direction. And then watching this, he's like, he broke the other robots. Did he break up One Direction? Yeah. Is it the person who left One Direction first? Oh. Who left One Direction first? Zane. It was Zane. Zane, Zane Malik. Yes. QC. I'm impressed. But does he surf? Is he an, a water person? He's from England, so he surely surfs. Uh, 
Jackie, what clues did you see there? Just the family thing. So I am wondering, do you have a famous brother, sister, father? I was thinking family business is like doing concreting. You said you traveled east, you came to the east coast. I'm gonna say Johnny Ruffo. Johnny can dance like that, you can sing. Can we just see you dance again, please, robot? Because, yes, yes. I love it when the robot dances. Who are you? Is it Nick Carter? You did a Backstreet Boy move. You did, you, went, you did a Backstreet Boy move. I'm rocking my brain, it's just driving me insane. There really is only one boy band move, and, and it's my favorite. You are a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> are you ready? We'll do it. Now I get to ask Robot, who are you? I'm a competitor. That's how I grew up. I love to win whatever I'm doing. Whatever I do, I'll give it everything I can. I want to be the best, not just the best I can be. Oh. What? What does that mean? I want to win. He wants to win. Oh, if you want to win, secretly tell me who you are and I'll make sure you win this competition. Right? <laughs> I'll do that for you. I think Lindsay had a penny drop moment. She's like, oh! Yeah. What was that? The best I can be, I think that is a lyric. Originally, I was thinking like a Backstreet Boy, and now I'm thinking, is Cody Simpson. Cody Simpson's very proactive in the ocean. And it would be a really big throw off if it was Cody because he dated my sister for a long time. Oh. I feel like I know you and that's what scares me the most. <laughs> I feel like you're right. Robot's first package, there was the UN bin and the water yes. cleanup. And Cody is an ocean ambassador for the UN. And he's got a famous sister, Ali, Ali Simpson. I think you look like Cody Simpson because he has kind of funny ears. <laughs> Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? It's all about keeping guessing, keeping a little mystery. Mystery is power in my case. And the best is definitely yet to come. I can't believe I've made it this far. It's been quite freeing to be able to walk around. No one knows who you are. You don't have to talk to anyone. You've just got to go out and sing, and, and that's my favorite thing to do. So I've had fun. I've really had to think about how to move around with all of these extra body parts attached to me. The costuming is very hard to move in, but Robot does it in a very comfortable way. Here we go. <laughs> Can we see you dance again, please, robot? Yes, yes! I love it when the robot dances! You know, he's a very well-oiled robot. My first performance was probably my favourite vocally. That moment was so great when Robot did James Bay, Hold Back the River. Hold back the river, let me got chills everywhere. We could hear his voice and we knew that he was a singer and a performer. Amazing voice. I was really happy I had that song first. It was able to showcase my vocals and my range straight away. Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes. Hold back the river so wide. That was probably my favourite performance of his. That was amazing. I love Robot. I love the moves. I love the swagger. If you're not a professional singer, you're in the wrong career. Voice of an angel, I've got no idea. I think it's all about keeping them guessing, keeping a little mystery. Mystery is power in my case. I'm going to lock in Troy Savan. Yeah. I'm going to go with Tim Amatic. 
Conrad Sewell. It's Cody Simpson. It would be a really big throw off if it was Cody because he dated my sister. Oh. For my second performance, I performed a song I would never normally sing. I did a remix of Horses, the Daryl Braithwaite Australian classic. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. We'll be riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. Way up in the sky, little darling. And if you fall, pick you, pick you up. That's a legendary Australian song, so he's not American. You will grow, and until you go. She will carry up your eyes. See them try every way they know how to make their spirit fly. That's the way it's gonna be. His moves are so cool. I want to be the robot. I wish I was as cool as him. That is a crowd favourite. And if you sing the horses, Australians will vote for you. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit every show to keep them guessing. I love Robot because he's really unexpected with his song choices. I never know what he's going to choose. So I did something a little different for my second last song. Jolene, 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 Jolene. When the robot sang Jolene, that was a shock. Dolly Parton, she's got a big voice. That's a deep voice. Can the robot handle it? But he did handle it. I heard you had the phone last night. It was the first medley mashup the show has seen so far. Oh, I love that. I'm convinced there's someone in the robot that I know. There's a few people that I know that can move like that and sing like that. My first guess was Tim Amatic. I'm thinking it could be Johnny Ruffo. Robot is a triple threat because he can sing, dance, and he's a good actor. What's not to love about the robot? The way he can do every single dance move. And I love his voice and his song choices. Who is this guy? If I get one guess in the grand finale, I will be the most ecstatic human being on the planet. But I think I might know who Robot is. the robot straight off the production line you might think I look like another robot a robot you know but are you sure that's who I am guesses have been flowing in and out like the tide but who's right all I can tell you is that I really enjoy my voice being heard coast to coast and I'll enjoy it even more when this robot holds the Golden Mask Trophy in my metal hands. Give a big hand, robot! The first time I walked out on stage as the robot was immediately fun. The robot is nothing like the real me. I'm very fluid and relaxed in my life and my performance. When he says very fluid, it reminds me of surfing, ocean, and waves. The robot is mechanical. And I've had to live with his limitations. Is he from a boy band? Or he aspired to be like someone in a boy band, and he never got to be in one. I'm not usually scared of taking leaps in my art, but the robot takes some huge leaps, singing songs that I would never sing. The robot mask gives me confidence. I feel free to do whatever I want to do. We could all learn from Robot. Uh, it's hard to narrow this one down. There's too many names swirling around in my head for this one. Oh, I can't believe this is going to be his last performance. I feel sad. Let's do it. There ain't a reason you wish to be home tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, yeah, baby. But I got a reason that you wish to take me home tonight. It's hard to feel the rush, to rush the danger rush. I'm gonna run right through to the edge with you, where we can hope for fall in love.
up the side tonight, yeah, baby. Tonight, yeah, baby. I'm on the edge of something final we call life tonight. Oh, right. I'm on the edge of performance I mean you just know how to bring it don't you the jump with the pyro and the effects and everything was just incredible yeah can you go again <laughs> but you're not on the edge of glory you fall into the glory hall you are <laughs> absolutely <laughs> swimming in glory I tell you what that is it's a touchdown Brilliant. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Jackie, what are some clues that we've seen about Robot? What do we know about him? He says he's born of the digital age. He's won medals for his swimming. We know he's crossed the Atlantic. He plays guitar. <gasps> We're pretty confident this guy's in his 20s. Absolutely. If he was over 40, he would have broken a hip jumping off that. So. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say after listening to that, Lindsay? I'm going to lock in Cody Simpson. How did you get that? The surfing, the waves, coming back home, and my sister dated him, so I have a little insight. Did you get on the phone? Did you call her up? She won't answer my calls right now, actually. <laughs> well, that's possibly why, because her ex is, you know, in a TV show with you. If it is you, we have a lot to talk about, and this is not the arena for it. <laughs> I want my furniture back, because I bought your furniture for your house in Venice. <laughs> and if it's not, I am so sorry. He's like, what? I feel like this is somebody who really liked the anonymity of the robot suit. And wherever he goes, he's famous. Everybody knows who he is. I think this is Niall from One Direction. Oh, that's a great guess. I am going to go with Danny on this one. I think she's made some good valid points about Niall from One Direction. So I'll lock in Niall. I was actually thinking of Five Softs. Five Seconds of Summer. The drummer from Five Sauce, Ashton Irwin, who is, I believe, a surfer. And uh, mm -hmm, yeah, I just is. feel like it could be Ashton Irwin. Mm. I'm not very certain, to be honest. <laughs> you are speculating left and right, but I, I know for a fact, Robot, no matter what happens, you don't have much time left in this mask. So before you take off that mask, Robot, is there anything you'd like to say? Inside our mask, we are not male or female, black or white, young or old. I'm not a robot, but being in this mask has given me the opportunity to experiment, and I love being the robot. Our panel thought that one of these celebrities might be behind the mask. Who do you think it is? Who is that? Our audience and our guessing panel have voted. The winner of the Masked Singer Australia for 2019 is...
to head up to the podium, you get the best view in the house. In a moment, we're going to finally find out who you are. Yes. But up there, you're going to get a fantastic view of who Wolf really is. Guys, would you give it up for Robot? <laughs> who the hell is Robot? Who is Wolf? Congratulations, Robot! Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back on stage the winner of the Mars Singer 2019, Robot! Robot! Very happy! He's very happy! Robot, congratulations. You absolutely did it. Guessing panel, this is your last chance. Lindsay, who is the robot? I think that I know who you are, and I think that you're trying to escape the kind of pop genre, and now you've come back to Australia to go back to your guitar roots. And we have some weird connection, and I think that you are Cody Simpson. You want your furniture back, don't you? <laughs> Danny, who's behind the mask? I'm going down the One Direction path, and I'm going for somebody who plays guitar, uh, has been in a boy band, so getting away from bubblegum pop, and I honestly think it's Niall Horan from One Direction. Ooh. Huge guess. Jackie, this is your last chance. Well, we have been given quite a few clues to indicate it could be someone from One Direction, so I'll hedge our bets. I'm gonna lock in Liam Payne. Cusey. I'm gonna stick with Ashton Irwin from Five Socks. For the reasons that are hard to explain. <laughs> this is a really hard competition. I've loved it so much. I'm not an expert at it. I really want the robot's head to come off. I want to grab both tea strainers and pull that off. <laughs> Those are some incredible guesses from our panel. But who do you think it is? Are you right? We are about to find out. Are you ready? This is the moment. The final moment. You might have won the Masked Singer, but you don't get to stay masked forever. Robot, this is it. It is time to take it off. 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 Take it You did it, you did it. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't, I just need to I'm literally in shock right now. I can't even, I'm like blushing for my sister because I know what she loves you. The big question is, is he gonna give you your furniture back? Uh, where is it even? I don't know, I don't think it ever showed up actually. <laughs> I remember that you wanted to go back home and you wanted to play more guitar and get back to the ocean and just chill. Very good detective, Lindsay, yeah. <laughs> I got such a kick out of teasing everybody, it was awesome. So Cody, going back to a couple of the clues, we saw the UN bin and cleaning up the ocean. I'm assuming yeah. you're an ambassador for the UN? Yeah, about two years ago, I was named their first oceans uh, advocate. So oh, I've been wow, doing a fair cool. bit of... Thank you. On the table at one point, there were spaghetti and meatballs. I had a, a single in the cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, you uh, that. Which you got. Um, movie, so that was that, yeah. Can I ask, were you happy with all the guesses? I think I thought you might be Kofi and Nan at one point. Absolutely, yeah, it was good. Like, I'm, I'm mates with, with Niall, I'm mates with Ashton. I can't wait to go and tell them that, like, people oh, thought yeah. that I was them, you know? Um, that's gonna be, I'm gonna make sure they, they watch it. And Those guys might have done what they've done, but they have not won the Masked Singer. How's it feel to have won? Yeah. Man, this is a, a top shelfer in the cabinet, for sure. Yeah. I won the Masked Singer. <laughs> Well, Lindsay, you guessed one right, and it was the winner. Congratulations to you, too.
Please thank Jackie O, Lindsay Lohan, Dave Hughes, and Danny Minogue. Well done, gang. You are clearly the nation's greatest detective. This is crazy. I love you. For the last time, Australia's favourite mask singer for 2019, Cody Simpson! There ain't no reason we should be alone tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, yeah, baby. But I got a reason that you wish to take me home tonight. Hey! It's hard to feel the rush, to push the danger rush. I'm gonna run right through to the edge with you, where we can both fall far in love.